made a call to one of the private college principal where my students were studying as private candidates and moment the principal picked up the call I said I'm Swamiji calling from the Akunji Ashram and on the other side immediate principal said oh Pranam Swamiji Pada Namaskarva yes, yes. all this, this prostration on your feet I was so happy to get a call from you please visit our college and I also said I'll send us an ashram car to come visit our ashram chit chat the reason for me calling was asking him to give us installment on the payment of the fees and he agreed for it next day when my children went there he called my students and told them I wanted to give you a concession and I'll give you a concession that concession money you take it ashram matadipadi Mata send all has got a lot of money so you take the money and you use it <laughs> Double talk is not very good in the Hindu society. One side they say, Swamiji Namaskar, on the other side, they are talking to my children and you become a principal of a college and talking to my own students, telling Matat Pati, Guruji has got a lot of money. So let him pay. I'll give you a discount, you take the money. Jean Baptiste de la Salle was a French priest. Education reform and founder of the Institute of the Brothers of the Christian Schools. He is a saint of the Catholic Church and a patron saint for teachers of youth. I'm talking. This is the second quote of Jean Baptiste de la Salle. I'm talking. Jean Baptiste de la Salle said, Learning without piety produces a proud device. Piety without learning produces a useless one. Learning without piety is anything for that matter. When you're learning and you do not prepare yourself before you go, that is, before you go to the stitch, you practice a thousand times before you would go to the stitch. Otherwise, don't go to the stitch. Don't enter the classrooms. You have no right to enter the temple if you have not created or practiced a sanskriti. If you have not sang a bhajan song to clear your voice code. You have not done your pranayama to clear your nasal and your breath. You have not done your stomach pumpings and looked at the surya and did the surya namaskar. You have not cleared it. Cleanliness next to God. And your house doesn't have rainwater harvesting and solar. You have no right to enter the temple. Neither if the temple or the church or masjid have, don't have rainwater harvesting and solar. Don't enter those places because they are not connected to nature. They are not connected to nature. They have got nothing to do with God. Piety produces a proud device. Learning without piety. Without rainwater harvesting. Without solar. Without that it produces a proud device. Proud is pickpocketing. Proud, proud is to cheat, to rob. I tell my children, you study and go. And under in the examination hall, if you want to discuss and right now, but studying a thousand times, going and answers flows and my kids still. They go, writing, and everybody next door will be shocked to see the children non stop writing because they cannot stop because answers flows without thinking, it strikes without thinking when you practice it all. Learning without piety produces a proud device. That proud created the disconnection with your father and mother. Disconnection with your elders, disconnection with your gurus, and that proud that when piety was not there, when Sanskriti was not practiced, 
everybody turns to become a robber, a pickpocket, a backstabber, a cheat. And you use other people. This is one main thing. Piety without learning produces a useless one. Piety without learning. You go to the temple, you're a religious person, you talk about the God and the things. Or you give so much respect to parents, but if you have not done your work seven times, you have chakra and you fall to Giddiness while you're working, you sweat and sweat like a tennis player. Six to seven times he removes the t shirt and squeezes out his sweat. He has played whether he's won or not. He has entertained arrow leaves. It's the ball. It may not hit the target, but it not miss. Ghosts are saying, say you played and you were squeezed it, whether win or lose, you have entered in the crowd. The crowd is full of happiness. They go back and all this happiness converts to make them healthy. All the diseases goes out. People watching the TV too. You have deeply enjoyed your game. Piety without learning produces a useless one. What's the use of all those rituals? What's the what's use of going to the temple and church and worship and praying if you're not done the hardest labor? It's not the hardest labor, it is the day to day dirt extra fact that is squeezed out. And then you see just money flows, love flows, respect, but you don't have to go in search of love. You don't have to go in search of money. In fact, money becomes nothing in front of all this. You do not know whether you want to touch or not. Such is the beauty. Jean Baptiste then asserts a learning with a fighting produces a proud device. And you can see the proud of people staying in a pigeonhole in apartments. People trying to break away from the family, joint family, and trying to live in a nucleus family and suffer. And then in that suffering, they disconnect from the religious thinking, religious are not very good, and they go to a stranger. And stranger is your hospital, the psychiatrist, psychologist, the cheaters. And you keep enjoying that. Come out of that. Keep your family together. Respect, learning the piety produce, but piety without learning also produces a useless one. So have the love, and you can see it is only usefulness, not useless. It is priceless, yes. And in that priceless, only God resides. In that priceless, you can see the diamond of health, not. When you are young, even at the age of 180, you can still walk, run, jump, dance like a 16 year old or 26 year old. It's the truth. People have forgotten to cleanse the pipelines. When you cleanse your pipelines, this house, you know to cleanse your sons. Then which invader can invade your country? No disease dare to invade your country. No nuclear bombs will have any effect. No blackmail of a nuclear bomb has got zero effect. 